Here's a quick first impression of the uh, Baofeng UV3R. Uh, not sure I'm often getting their pronunciation correct, but you can see that on there. Um, little Chinese uh, dual band HT. Um, Simplicity is the name of this game, and for 50 bucks, it seems to be. Well, look, you know, at the very least, it's a handy little toy uh, and a nice little novelty. Um, but it seems to be quite a little, a good little rig. I've only had it for a few hours, programmed a few uh, memories into it, had a bit of a play, so it can't give you much of a, a review at this point. But this sort of give you a quick look because I did have a search on eBay when I, or, sorry, on YouTube and on Google when I ordered about a week ago and was unable to find any information at all other than the uh, information that was included in the eBay ad. So here's actually a quick look at it. Um, you can see it compared to the, the VX8DR um, or VX8D there um, size wise. Um, as far as the screen real estate goes, they're fairly similar in size, at least height wise, um, but obviously it's it, it's quite small and the VX8 is actually a small unit, small HT. Now what's included in the box, obviously the HT itself, uh, two antennas, one for VHF, one for UHF according to the manual, UHF one has a little uh, red band on it, little orange band, um, obviously the rig itself, battery, belt clip, lanyard uh, although I believe the lanyard may be uh, have been put in from the guys that I uh, bought it off eBay on but still nice little inclusion that's always nice uh, they also threw in a pen which is around here somewhere an earpiece here we go uh, it's one of those over the year type jobbies uh, sorry just to give you an idea there's the plug there so it's not one of the Kenwood type ones that you're used to on the Puxing and some of the other Chinese HTs. Uh, little, I don't know, desk charger. Now keep in mind the desk charger, you have to take the battery out to charge it. Slots in there. It's like one of those little mobile um, batteries. So you can't actually charge it in the unit in the desk charger. Um, and what you actually do, oh hang on, we just noticed something there. Um, and what you actually do is you can just sit the rig in the back there like that. Um, Whilst it's, whilst it's charging. Ah, now, something interesting I just noticed. It actually comes with this plug, this uh, cable here, which is not referred to in the manual, um, whether it be the Chinese hard copy version. Yep, it's all Chinese. Or the English um, electronic version that's included in the box. Again, I think that's been thrown in by the dealer rather than being supplied with the, with the unit itself. Um, actually comes with this cable which for the best of my knowledge I was thinking it was made for cloning or something along those lines uh, the manual does refer to programming software uh, I'm yet to see I haven't seen any accessories on eBay or online at all uh, like I said hard fought to find any information on this unit um, because it actually fits into the side of the radio here which is actually where the charger fits so you can actually charge the uh, unit with the battery and sign you can see that fits in there, but what I've actually just noticed, and there's a, obviously your plug for your, um, your your mic there and your earpiece, whatever. Uh, what I've actually noticed is there's actually a couple of plugs on the bottom here, so you can see that there. So I'm thinking perhaps what you do is you plug the charger into one, um, this into the other side, and then possibly plug that into another one of these desktop chargers. And, and, and yeah, charge two batteries up at one time. Interesting inclusion though, uh, and I've only just noticed those on the bottom. So, yeah, maybe. Um, look, and that's about it. Um, that's pretty much everything that's included in the, with the radio, which is pretty much what you expect. Fairly straightforward to operate. Don't start turning the knob like I did, thinking that you've got a buggered unit. Lift it up, and then she rotates. Um, just a quick rundown. Uh, fairly straightforward, small speaker. There's your mic. Uh, just there, four buttons on the front, three on the side, uh, a little light on top, little LED light on the top, and uh, there's your rotating dial there. Turn it on, obviously the on off button, there you go, and I'll show you the voltage when you first turn it on. I'm in frequency mode there. Um, you can switch between VHF and UHF with this UV button here. Just a quick press, switches you between those two. Um, you can see the repeater 
shift just there, there's a little positive there, yep. And when I go to UHF, uh, I'm not sure whether you can see that that's showing a negative and you're showing a little UHF over in the corner here. One thing I haven't figured out and it doesn't refer to in the manual is um, it's in wide FM here rather than narrow. Um, I can't figure out how to get it to narrow, but uh, it does show that's for wide. I um, can only assume there is some way here to be able to switch it over, but it's not referred to in the manual. Um, to go between uh, frequency mode or VFO mode and, and then jumping over to memory mode, simply hold that same button in. There we go, something I prepared earlier. Obviously that dial flicks you through your different um, memory positions there. To store a memory, it's real easy. Uh, get back into frequency mode. There we go. Uh, push the, obviously rotate to the frequency that you want. Push the function button on the side. Hit the UV button. Rotate the dial, you can see it's flashing there to whichever memory position you want. And then hit the UV button again. Bang, that's stored. Um, obviously that's your PTT button. The, the function button on the side there, combined with these additional buttons here uh, have some extra functions other than the functions that they have by either pressing them momentarily or holding them in. The menu itself, uh, really straightforward. You've only got 12 options. Um, you can set up tones uh, for receive and uh, transmit, you know, for the purpose of opening repeaters, etc. Um, squelch level, once you've selected a menu option that you want, hit the UV here and that'll open up that menu option and then you can make a selection through that there. Um, interestingly enough, when I turn that squelch off, you'll actually hear the volume of this little speaker. Now the volume is at its lowest position um, and you'll just hear that there. It's really quite loud, even at its lowest position. So, you know, if you're on the bus or something and you want to do a little bit of listening, I'd suggest using the earpiece. I, I, I really couldn't get this to a volume low enough, at its, even at its lowest position, um, to be suitable to, you know, to be listening in a sort of a quiet environment. Uh, disappointing. Um, but the, the little speakers are a ripper. Um, okay, just go back into our menu here. Um, hang on, we'll just lock that. Go back into our menu here. Oh, hang on, sorry, it's just a momentary press, there we go. Um, obviously, repeater shift, uh, what the offset's going to be. Uh, frequency step, uh, options between 5 all the way up to 25, so 5, 6.25, uh, 10, 12 and a half, uh, 20 and, and uh, 25, I believe they are. Um, all right, volume, push the volume button, rotate the dial. Um, Push that again to turn it off. Um, holding the volume button in, opens the squelch. Taking the finger off, shuts it up again. Um, look, really handy little unit. Um, it does uh, FM um, broadcast as well. Um, holding that button in the side. Nope. Turns on the FM. Turn the volume up so you can get an idea how good the speaker is. Um, interestingly enough though, the volume is a lot lower um, on the FM radio frequencies, um, but anyway, broadcast frequencies that is. Um, holding that in again on the side. Takes us back to um, our transmit frequencies. Um, just tapping that though, turns on the little LED light on the top. Yeah, real nifty. Uh, tapping again, turns it off. Um, anyway. Just a, that was just a quick look uh, at the rig itself. Real simple, really straightforward, um, easy to navigate. I don't know whether I'd want to store the 100 uh, memory positions that are on here by hand. There is mention of um, some software uh, in the manual. I'm not sure whether I've said that yet or not, but there is some mention of that. But um, I'm not sure for 50 bucks whether I'd be bothered going to buy a cable because it'd probably be almost as much as a radio. You know, 50 bucks delivered. Um, seems like a great little unit that you could put in your pocket just carry it around um, you know and, and just listen to occasional QSO um, it seems really sensitive on the receive I'm not sure about what it's like on UHF it seemed to be get a bit get a bit overloaded uh, but there's a lot of electronics here 
I hope that's not the case and I hope that it, uh, performance will be better when I get it out and do a bit of field testing. Anyway, quick look at the unit. Hope you like it. Yeah, 50 bucks. Take a shot. I'll uh, give you some more details later on once I get a chance to um, have a bit of a play with it. Cheers.